And so we've got Anthony Ryder from South Lyon, Michigan, recently selected as the Lions 2020 Fan of the Year. He has a passion about sports broadcasting. With the 112th selection in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Amon Ross St. Brown, wide receiver, USC. One cry, baby! The Detroit Lions are going to need to be aggressive this offseason in free agency at the cornerback position. Last year, going into the offseason, cornerbacks seemed to be the biggest move and seemed to be the biggest thing Brad Holmes wanted to address. He signed Cam Sutton to a three-year, $33 million contract, and not even a day later, signed Emmanuel Mosley to a one-year, $6 million contract. Devon Witherspoon seemed to be their top priority in the NFL draft, although he was selected before they were able to grab him. The Lions bounced back in the second round and took cornerback Brian Ryan Branch to be the starting slot guy for them in the interior of that secondary. The Lions secondary did improve last year, although it was not very good with Cam Sutton having a really tough stretch down to the end of the year. Emmanuel Mosley tearing his ACL five plays into his NFL season, but Brian Branch was, of course, a huge bright spot. The Lions had a huge rotation at cornerback, too, that went from Emmanuel Mosley, from Jerry Jacobs, to Kendall Vilder, to Khalil Dorsey at times. There was a lot of options and a lot of rotation at the position. And with the Lions potentially losing four cornerbacks this year to free agency, that being Khalil Dorsey, Kendall Vilder, Jerry Jacobs, and Emmanuel Mosley, there's a pretty good shot that they're going to either try to re-sign a couple of those guys, find a couple guys in free agency, as well as go through the draft and find a true cornerback. One. Now, I don't think there's a cornerback one in free agency for the Detroit Lions this year, but there are quite a few really good depth players. And today, we're going to talk about a guy that I think could come in and be the brand new cornerback, too. That being Isaac Yadom from a number of different teams. Now, Isaac is a six foot one, 188 pound cornerback turning 28 years old in just a couple of days. In the 2024 season, he will be 28 years old. And funnily enough, his birthday is actually in just a few days from today. Now, despite being relatively young and despite being a top 100 draft pick just a few seasons ago, Isaac Yadom has played for five NFL teams. He started in Denver and then he went to the New York Giants and then he went to the Green Bay Packers. Then he went to the Houston Texans before being traded last offseason to the New Orleans Saints. He's been kind of a journeyman around the NFL. He's had some good years. He's had some bad years. He's been kind of that cornerback two to cornerback three player. And I think he's going to be a relatively cheap option as well as being a relatively good option for the Detroit Lions this offseason. Now, throughout his career, Isaac Yadom has had 158 tackles, one tackle for loss, 26 passes defended, and two interceptions, forced fumble, and a fumble recovery. Now, that is not a bad NFL career for a player that's already 28 years old. I think he still has two or three good years left in him, and I think that the Lions could bring him in to be some depth. If nothing else, he might not be an elite cornerback, too. He's not going to slide in as the true cornerback one, but I think if you had him as a cornerback two, if you had him as a cornerback three, right, he's an upgrade over Kendall Vilder. He's an upgrade over Jerry Jacobs. He's an upgrade over Khalil Dorsey. He's an upgrade over what you have at the depth position, and I don't think he's going to be any more expensive than the guys you would take to re-sign them. Now, in 2023, I thought Isaac Edom had his best season as a pro, having 47 targets on the year and allowing just 23 receptions. That is a 48.9 completion percentage against him, where he allowed just 323 yards, three touchdowns, and one interception. Now, was he an elite cornerback? No, but he did play in 16 games and started eight games down the stretch for the New Orleans Saints. He wasn't great for New Orleans, but he was far from a liability or a bad player in New Orleans. In comparison to that, our cornerback two to end the year last year was Kendall Vilder, who on the season played just five games for Detroit and started just two games at boundary cornerback and allowed 154 receiving yards and two touchdowns through the year with a quarterback rating of 114. Isaac Yadom on the season, again for the New Orleans Saints, played 17 games, started eight, allowed just 323 yards, and allowed a quarterback rating of 
point nine. Is it an elite cornerback? Is it elite for a cornerback? No. Is he going to be a true cornerback one? Probably not, but that is a pretty significant upgrade from a player that wasn't really all that good for the Lions last year and a player that the Lions can certainly look to upgrade from. Now, taking a look at the projected cost of Isaac Yadom, he should not be very expensive. The last contract he signed with the Saints was a one-year $1.2 million contract. I think that's pretty similar to what he's going to get right now, right? Potentially a 1.5, maybe even closer to $2 million. But for a veteran player that has a lot of starting experience in the NFL, I believe has 28 to 30 starts under his belt and 56 games played, I think a one-year deal to make him at the moment, at least the cornerback two, would very much help reassure and kind of sure up the rest of that secondary. And I think the cornerback room with, you know, Cam Sutton, with Isaac Edom, with Brian Branch as kind of your starting three, going into the draft, knowing you're probably going to draft a guy within the the top 60 within your first two to three picks, I think that could be a really strong secondary. And I think that it would be relatively cheap. I think he's going to be cheaper than a guy like Emmanuel Mozing. He's going to be even cheaper than potentially a guy like Jerry Jacobs. He's going to be significantly cheaper than a guy like Stephen Gil like Stefan Gilmore in the free agency or one of those veteran cornerbacks that has true cornerback one success. And while I don't think the Lions are going to find their true cornerback one in free agency, I think that's going to be much more of a draft day type of situation. I do think they can kind of shore up the rest of their secondary. I do think that they can put together a young, strong secondary that can improve to a top 15 unit this year and complement the top three rushing defense that the Detroit Lions already have. And I think the best guy to do that from a price standpoint, from a talent standpoint, from a production standpoint, I think the best fit for the Detroit Lions is New Orleans Saints cornerback Isaac Yadome. He'll be cheap. He's relatively young. He is certainly an upgrade over Kendall Wilder and Jerry Jacobs from last year. I think he has a lot of good cornerback abilities. I think he has a lot of good skills for the cornerback position. And again, he might not be that cornerback one. He might not be that elite playmaker. He might not be even a starter at this point. But I think if you go through free agency, right, and just as a mock scenario, right, let's say obviously Cam Sutton returns. You sign Emmanuel Mosley to a $2 million one-year contract to be your cornerback two. You sign Isaac you don't to be your cornerback three for again one and a half 1.2 million dollars you go out and you draft a guy like say kool-aid mckinstry in the first round whether you trade up a couple spots or the kid out of toledo or the kid out of georgia right there are six first round cornerbacks out there one of them is likely to be there at number 29 so you have them as potentially your cornerback one cam Sutton is your cornerback two manuel mosey is your cornerback three isaac Yadome is your quarterback four then you have you know stephen gilmore as your five and chase lucas as your cornerback six and then, you, of course, you have Brian Branch as your starting slot guy. Probably slide him in there at cornerback three, potentially. That is a really good young secondary. And I think they can address some veterans in free agency, bring in maybe one or two guys that won't be very expensive, right? Because, again, you'll have a rookie contract player. Let's just say, for example, it's Kool-Aid McKintry, right? You'll have Kool-Aid McKintry as your cornerback one on the boundary as a rookie contract. You'll have Cam Sutton as your cornerback two on the boundary, making about $11 million. As your cornerback three, you have Brian Branch on a rookie deal. As your cornerback four, you have potentially Emmanuel Mosley on a one-year $1.5 million contract. You have Isaac Edom as your cornerback five as your one-year $1.2 million. That is a really, really strong secondary. If injuries arise, if somebody doesn't quite play up to their standards, if somebody doesn't quite live up to the hype, if you know Cam Sun continues to struggle, or if there are some rookie growing pains, there's a lot of different guys and a lot of different ways you can go about this and build a really, really strong secondary. So with all that being said, that is really all I have for you guys today. That is who I think the Detroit Lions should go out and try to acquire as the cornerback too. Yes, there are some big names. Yes, there are guys out there like Stefan Gilmore that could potentially be a big name and is going to command big money. But I think for the right price, this feels like a very Brad Holmes-esque move, right? A player that statistically is quite good over the last year is going to be really cheap, is going to have kind of that underdog mentality, is going to potentially be a better culture fit than a big superstar player in free agency. And I think there's a really good chance that Isaac Udom becomes the Detroit Lions cornerback three cornerback four shores up the depth on this team and kind of becomes the safety blanket if injuries arise or if the draft doesn't quite go your way i think the lions are going to go after one if not two cornerbacks in this in this free agency class 
And I think Isaac Udom could very well be one of them for a very, very cheap deal. But with all of that being said, that is all I have for you guys today. Let me know down in the comments below how you would feel about a signing like this. How would you feel about bringing in a cornerback that maybe isn't going to be a starter, but could certainly be some quality depth and upgrade the depth at the position at the time? I think, again, attacking cornerback through the draft is a necessity. But I think free agency will be key in shoring up the depth portions of the roster. So with all that being said, let me know down in the comments below how you feel about this, how you would feel about this player. If there's a better option out there at cornerback you would prefer, I'd be very curious what you guys have to say. But with all of that being said, so I got for you guys right now. Thank you all so very much for watching. And until next time, and as always, go Lions.